What is up my friends and welcome back to another video. Now obviously you can see this rather large brown box sitting in front of me and it would be safe to assume that we're about to do an unboxing because of it. But what this box also means is we have also got a new sponsor. So as I've said many times before, um, but if you're new to my channel, when I do work with brands, I always make sure that not only do they actually care about, you know, what we do on this channel um, in terms of music production and, and like helping you guys, the viewers out there, but um, that they're also music related and that it's a company that I feel that you guys would definitely benefit from. So this has been a process in the making. It's been uh, probably over a month or so that I've been going back and forth um, to make this work out. But finally, I am super excited to say that I have teamed up with Sweetwater. If you guys do not know who Sweetwater is, not only are they one of the largest retailers of music equipment, but um, their customer service is pretty much unmatched. I mean, these guys go through extensive, extensive training to make sure that you guys, you know, when you, when you purchase a product, or even if you're just looking for a product, um, have as much knowledge going into that purchase as you possibly can. Um, so they're there to answer your questions you know, before you make a purchase. If you have equipment that you're, you're looking to upgrade, you know what I mean, or find something else that will work with the equipment you have, they're more than happy to like, you know, look into it and, and help you find what you need. Um, but you know, during your purchase, as well as after, if you need any questions about like how to set something up or how to tweak something or anything like that, they're there for you guys. Um, I could go on about like everything that the, the company offers, but they're an awesome company. I mean, like most awesome companies, they started like back in the 70s out of a garage um, with a guy named Chuck, who's the co-founder of the company. Um, but yeah, the, their history is awesome. Long story short, they're a great company. So if you haven't checked them out, I'll put their website in the description. Whether you just want to like shop around or if you're actually in the market, go check these guys out, sweetwater.com. Now, if you saw my last video where I went over like all of the equipment that I have, you might remember that when I got to my audio interface, I mentioned that we have an upgrade on the way. And this is exactly what that is. I've been waiting and super excited to get this open. Um, and this is something that I've had my eye on for a long time. So I really got to thank Sweetwater for making this possible. Um, this is the Universal Audio Apollo 8 Quad Audio Interface. But before I get into it and get too carried away, let's actually get it open and look at what's in here. So I'm gonna put the mic down and uh, let's get it. So it looks like Sweetwater was nice enough to include the Apple Thunderbolt cable. Um, I'm pretty sure that this isn't included if you actually purchase the UAD um, because it's a completely separate product. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys for including this because I definitely would have needed it. Um, but yeah, you will need a Thunderbolt cable to you know, make use of the Thunderbolt connectivity with the UAD. Uh, but let's keep going. <laughs> So I wasn't sure how many boxes we were going to have to go to to get to the main box. And I won't be surprised if there's more in there. But if you guys didn't see that little bag that I was holding up, they literally included a bag of candy with their shipments. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've heard that that's what they do with all their shipments. So shout out to Sweetwater because your boy's got a sweet tooth. <laughs> So 
So we have finally made it the Universal Audio Apollo 8 audio interface. We made it to the middle of the boxes, my friends. We do have one more box that I'll go ahead and open, um, but I'm gonna guess that those are just like, you know, a few cables and components that go along with this. But first, the most important thing of an unboxing video. I don't want to make this a review because literally, obviously I just got it. I haven't even used it yet. Um, but I'll show you guys a couple shots of both the front as well as the back of the interface and kind of explain a couple of the features that um, you know brought me to choose this specific audio interface. But I will tell you guys out there watching that because of the price point as well as you know what this actually does, I would say that this is definitely for a more advanced uh, studio if you're building one, a uh, more advanced producer or um, you know, somebody who has more of a budget to put into their, you know, their gear. Um, but the great thing about Universal Audio is that they also have products for pretty much all price points um, that are going to get you incredible, incredible sound quality and results. Um, but let's check out what this specific the uh, unit has, the Apollo 8. Starting over from the left side of the unit, you guys will see two hi Z inputs. That's for like a guitar or a bass. Um, to plug directly into if you're tracking them in a in, you know, project you're working on and what's really cool about this is that it has quad core DSP chips built in and what that does is say you've got like an amplifier plugin um, which UAD also makes incredible incredible plugins that emulate you know classic analog uh, hardware but say you've got one of their plugins hooked up that you're recording the guitar or the bass into um, there's practically zero latency um, because it's all handled within that DSP chip rather than going through your computer and then everything being handled over there and then you hear it at the monitor which generally you'll get some latency with over here you have the preamp knob which is you know to handle the preamp for gain staging and stuff um, you've got your input to switch through your inputs you have a 48 volt phantom power you have a high pass or low cut filter whatever you want to call it um, moving over to this side we have you know your metering um, your monitor obviously your monitor volumes which i believe you can connect up to three two or three sets of monitors um, like i said i'm not gonna get too far into this because i've got to dive into it myself but uh let's check out the back of the preamp so once again starting from the left of the audio interface um, obviously we've got our power in which is where you're going to plug this into a power source you have your optical outputs and inputs um, as well as your thunderbolt connectivity um, to the right of that you have the word with clock um, you're probably not going to use this because your computer has a clock in it next to this um, where it says s slash pdif I believe this is for cascading um, or daisy chaining, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can connect up to four Apollo interfaces um, and then over to the right of that you have you know, your line in and out, uh, your monitor, which that's where you're, obviously you're connecting to your monitors. And then to the right of that you see our four line in inputs. Um, this is going to be you know, for your microphones, instruments. Um, those sorts of things. So once again, this video is not intended to be a review because why would I review something that I haven't even used yet? You guys literally just saw me take it out of the box, but I wanted to show you guys both the front and the back of the interface and kind of go through some of the features that it has. Um, but the time has come. Let's pull the focus right to I4 out of that, that section there. And we're going to get this mounted into the desk. So let's get it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, so I probably should have had a screwdriver in hand when I was doing that. Um, but fast forward, you guys can see it's mounted in there. I'll get some close up shots so you can see how it looks. Super clean, definitely cleaned up the space. Um, and as far as this card goes that came in the box, uh, pretty much all that there is to do next is you go to their website, um, you download, install the, the software, um, and then pretty much follow the setup instructions. So I'm not exactly sure how long the download is going to take, so I won't have you guys sit through that. But um, once again, I want to give a big thank you to Sweetwater um, for making this happen. Uh, we have something else on the way that I might already have but that's going to be in a separate video so you guys stay tuned the next time you guys see me record vocals on a track that i do in a video it'll be through this guy over here so maybe i'll do like a one month review after i get some time spend some time with it but thank you again to sweetwater like i said i'm leaving their link to their website in the description below um, for making this happen they've been great so far um, and I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect any otherwise. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video uh, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.